And that's what the devil does. He's the wolf. He, gets a, he likes to just get us and carry us on off. John 10, 10, the Bible says that the thief has come to steal, kill, and destroy. And I feel mad, too, because I am sick and tired of the devil trying to get us into addictions and or pull us back in addictions and to keep us from the one who loves us and died for us. The freedom feels good. I have no addictions on me tonight, and it feels good. I am not tormented. It's a torment. You know, many of you know what I'm talking about. When you get those urges, all of a sudden something triggers you and you get those urges and then you find yourself doing it again, it is not a good feeling. And you, and then pretty soon, especially if you give into it, sin is pleasurable for a season, but it's just a season. It's just that little while. That little bit of pleasure ain't worth nothing. It ain't worth losing your soul over. It ain't lose, worth in your peace. It ain't worth losing your family over, your health everything it's a destroyer and that's what he does and you know it's not just the addictions of alcohol and drugs there are people in churches that are good people that so-called good people that never drank smoked chewed cussed but yet they need jesus and the problem is they don't think they're a sinner they don't think that because they're not like the stripper or the prostitute or the addict that's over there. Remember the story in the Bible where the two are, are coming to, to, to uh, uh, worship the Lord and the one says, I'm glad I'm not as bad as he is, you know. But I'll tell you what, the Bible says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Everybody needs Jesus. I'm so glad he set me free because those addictions are awful. I mean, you can be fine for a while, and all of a sudden, there it is. It's calling your name. But I'll tell you what, there's a name above every name that has come to set you free, and his name is Jesus. Pastor preached on the blood the other day. He preached on the blood. The blood is what has got me free. It wasn't candy. It wasn't good old candy that's changed. No, it's Jesus by the blood. All I had to do was say yes and mean it with my whole heart. Not just confess it now. I'm telling you, you got to watch it. On, on, on some of these TV preachers, just say the prayer. And then, act, then they act like you're good to go for the rest of your life. Well, let me tell you, the word repentance is in the Bible. John the Baptist came preaching, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jesus came saying, repent for the kingdom of heaven. You know what repent means? Turn. You know, you're going one way, you're living your life as you please without him being your guide, without him being your boss. Say, master, Lord and Savior. Lord means master. You're asked to be a savior. You want to be saved, but yet you want to hang on to your stuff. Well, you've got to let go of it. But when you let go, it feels good, and he gives you the power to do it. That's why I, I guess you just do it with your whole heart. When you do it with your whole heart, that's where the freedom comes, the peace, the joy, and the purpose.